everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Stephanie of Kiki Planning back at it again for another video and in today's video we have a haul and I know I said we were gonna take a chill pill from buying stuff but it's not my fault. Everybody came out with really cute stuff that I had to buy so there, there, there. That's, that's basically it. So in this haul we have Rose Claire Days, Sticker Guru, Odd Loop, Creativity and Ink, and Scroll Prince Co. and like I'm honestly in love with all of it. I just realized right now there's very much so a magical theme with like all of the stuff that's on here the stuff that's to the side is not magical but like magic beauty all of it um but yeah as per not as per usual I think I've stopped doing like little icons saying that stuff was well all of the stuff that I got like I bought with my own money but I'll still put the little icons of like purchased or PR or stuff like that um and then I'll have timestamps and links in the description box down below along with any coupon codes whether they are mine or not and that's basically it. Let's go ahead and just get onto the haul. Alrighty, so the first shop that I have to show you is Rose Colored Days. And as per usual, this did come with like this cute little business card. This is Rose Colored Days, um, the Instagram, Facebook group, email address, all that fun stuff. And then I love this little business card that says you are important, kind, strong, capable, loved, and worthy. And just like this is a thousand percent of my alley. She's gonna go like on my whiteboard right behind this camera um yeah so i'm just gonna keep that guy to the side and then it also came with this april um i almost said 2020 2021 <laughs> journaling card that just has all of the dates and stuff i think this is really cute like let's say you had a really important birthday in april or something like let's say or like even easter if you celebrate easter you took a lot of pictures and stuff you could just put like a clear sticker or even just take a sharpie and draw like a little heart around the four and then on the back of this just tape a bunch of cards or pictures that you printed out of the day and you can just stick this in like any planner or in a scrapbook or whatever like you don't have to use these as dashboards i might now that i have a personal planner now that i think about it i think I feel like this would look really cute in the plum paper daily to have like just a dashboard constantly so home girl might do that but it also did come with that and then it also came with a like clear freebie that had red foil um that was like full boxes and glitter header overlays um but i use that in my wandavision plan with me which will go up tomorrow i believe um but whenever it goes up i'll have it linked in the card up above but this is all that i picked up i literally just picked up a bunch of bougie boxes so as per usual i did go ahead and already roll them out so this first one is this green bougie box and header overlay and it's just so stunning i actually just filmed a spread using these it'll be my st patrick's day one that'll go live like next week um but these are so good and the quality i the original bougie boxes i bought her first round in like 2019 2018 something like that um and i didn't even know that the quality could go up so much because these just feel so much smoother if that makes any sense and the little glitter speckles are a lot smaller than the original bougie boxes so you can see a lot more of the glitter which I a thousand percent love and these are perforated at the 1.5 inch mark I think I did the math and you have enough bougie if you were to use 14 bougie boxes to do 18 spreads so I think that's absolutely insane because you get like a whole bunch in a roll um so there is that and then the next ones that I picked up were the like heart bougie and header overlays I only got these in silver because I have one of the first rose color day subscriptions that's silver and it's like heart um header full box um and bottom washi overlays so I just figured like I'm really only ever going to use heart bougie when I use that subscription and because that's in silver I'm just only going to pick this up in silver so we picked up that one and then I also picked up the bow header and bougie box underlays in gold and silver again because I figured like when like kids that are typically bow heavy are very like pink planner or purple planner and I figured like if I do a pink spread I'll use the gold one if I do a purple one I'll use the silver one so I didn't really think that there would be very many spreads that are like hollow or rose gold underlays I feel like rose gold I would think more like fall leaf type overlays and hollow I think more like magical Disney Harry Potter that kind of stuff um so I just picked these up in gold and silver and that is everything that I picked up from rose colored days let's go ahead and move on to the next shop 
Okay, so the next shop that I have to show you guys is Sticker Guru. And for those of you that don't know, I am a PR girl for Lisa and Lucy's shop. So you can use Staff 15 for 15% off my order, 15% off your order, <laughs> not my order. And you will get a freebie that just says I am confident. And then podcast binge, coffee, not podcast binge, just podcast, coffee, study, and then some cute little icons to go with them. And you can use that for everything except for $2 Tuesdays and the collaboration sticker books. Um, but you can still mention my name in the notes to sell or to get my freebie. So there is that guy. And then as per usual, this did come with like the Accomplished Big Plans sticker guru journal card. And they do write your name and then they just put a cute little message excited to have your own team. And I'm so excited to be on this PR team again. It's so good. Um, but really quickly, let me just go ahead and show you everything that I got. So this was a $2 Tuesday and I picked the buy all bundle in the like fun foil, which was a purple and in hollow, I almost legitimately almost picked this up in every single foil color so like these two plus gold silver and rose gold and then I was like girl this is $200 you cannot spend $200 on just a bunch of beautiful stuff um so I just narrowed it down to two and I am so excited and so like happy with everything that I got so this first one is just like a little moon deco and it's in like I'm just gonna show you everything in haul and then I'll show you everything in purple afterwards. So it's just moon deco with the little leaves, and then these little header overlays, these different moon decos with little like twinkly hangy bits, and then these moon date dots, which these are so stunning. I can't like I literally can um and then also these just little like twinkly deco bits which these would look really cute to either put over a full box or over an icon or just a bunch of like little layery type pieces and these these are stunning i think this is actually my favorite design out of this whole wiggle because it's just beautiful um so there is that and then these little like sun deco date dots and then this other crescent moon with little sparkly starbursts, these dangly moons, which again, I think these would look so cute over a full box or even like if you do a half, yeah, a half box, but like instead of horizontally, you do it vertically and then put one of these decos like on side of it, real cute. And then these like arching moons and if these are all individually cut. So these are individually cut little moon decos, but I feel like these would look really cute to just do like arching over your sidebar and then a monthly script underneath it, real cute. And then these like half scallop starburst things, these corner scallop starbursts, these moons, and these are on the premium matte paper. And I think this is so stinking cute. I feel like if you watched a movie that has a really short title, you put this guy in your spread and then you put like a little like icon character sticker. Like if you watched, I was gonna say The Little Mermaid, it's like really long, but like if you watched Brave, you could put a little like Merida sticker next to it and just write Brave next to it so cute stunning and then these full box overlays so these are like a single stroke with little like cornery deco bits so you have one on all corners and then some on like opposite corners and some of these stickers do have little bubblies but i tend to just like whenever i get stuff um pick things up i don't know what this is but this is like not even on the full box overlay so i don't really care um but I do tend to like pick stuff up and put it back down a lot. So if you see any bubbles on any of them, that was honestly probably me. Um, and then these like all over full box overlays, which I'm going to be using these as underlays because these would look like these would make bomb bougie. Um, and then these other like confetti moon stuff, these constellation overlays, but I'm going to call them underlays. These two they're two um like 15 millimeter strips but you can also just use them as like one 30 millimeter washi strip a like pad not patterned but essentially a bow overlay but instead of bows it's stars and moons which again so cute um and then finally this like chunky monkey this one's actually one giant 30 millimeter overlay in the constellation stuff which i think that is so cute and the main reason <coughs> speak the main reason why I picked this up in the purple foil like tell me okay so really quickly I'm going to show the scroll prints code January 2020 mystery kit that, that was the birthday kit because everybody knows that January is always a birthday kit um <clears throat> so if you don't want to see it just like swipe out 
don't want to skip for the next little bit um but i'm gonna show it now so how cute would these two look together like this is very purple celestial and i feel like this wiggle and then like doing so this came with a like sparkly hollow and champagne lights um like mixed metal wiggle but i feel like this kit with this wiggle mixed not with this wiggle but like with this two dollar tuesday mixed with the champagne lights wiggle from scroll prince co would look so good so i'm just gonna like literally ignore the wiggle that came in here and just use a bunch of champagne lights stuff that i already have and i'm so excited for that so really quickly i'm just gonna show everything again this is in the purple foil and it is so stinking cute so i'm just gonna like flip through this guy a little bit faster just because like you already saw it if you saw it the last like 15 seconds but tell me tell me that like over this little party scene these little like hangy deco ebits would not look stunning like who who is she i don't know uh, but yeah so like or okay so i'm just gonna keep saying a bunch of stuff or even like if you do this guy and then you put like this across the double box like tell me you see, you've seen something more stunning because i for sure have not um so i'm just gonna hopefully kind of stop talking and um i'm just gonna save these guys for last because i have some stuff to say um but yeah so more full box overlays more washi stuff and i'm gonna struggle bust it so hard figuring out like what washi to pull in but so i had an idea so i made sure i almost picked up like two more of these like um full box overlays but i think these would look so cute as bougie like a mixed metal bougie because the wiggle that's in here came with champagne lights bougie boxes let me just pull it out okay so here are the champagne lights full boxes and then like just tell me that these won't look so cute together as bougie boxes because if you have eight here and eight here you have more than enough to do the like typical 14 underlays in any spread um so i'm just so excited so excited i cannot even like contain my excitement like i am ready and you will be seeing this ugh, in like a month i think actually exactly a month after this haul goes live is when my birthday finally will go live so i will be using that kit for my birthday week and all of the like purple stuff with that kit and i'm so excited um so that is everything for sticker guru again you can use staff 15 for 15 percent of your order plus my freebie hopefully i'm still in frame i have no idea um but yeah let's go ahead and get on to the next shop okay so the next shop that i have to show you guys is odd loop and i did pick this up during the like lunar new year collab sale so there are just a bunch of different freebies so you have one from station stickers it just has a bunch of scripts so target run boba mache matcha matcha latte um ramen milk tea happy mail at starbucks and these cute little like circle checks box check box e things um and there's coupon code on here but like this will go up after this coupon code expires so it literally doesn't matter um but yeah so there is that and then the next freebie is from circle guru which you know i already love um so it's in silver and this is planning time by stickers morning coffee and then you're doing great sweetie which i think is really really cute and i'm pretty sure that this full box was from erica of erica marie plans is freebie from the past round but you can still use erica 15 to get her current freebie but it changed if that makes any sense um and then next is one from a paper ella story and then one from paper panda and then this one from ice cream joe like i love like her art style is literally so good and i wish i could wear an outfit like that but i do not have the confidence for that um i do wear space ones all the time so we have that part um and then it has a cute little mask a planner a little hand get some fresh air a mask and then a different planner and this is so cute and this is on like a stunning premium matte paper and i love this so much so i haven't purchased anything from her shop yet but this is making me want to and honestly based off of this i have a 10 out of 10 recommend checking out her shop too um but yeah so that is everything from that and let's go ahead and get into the kits that i picked up so the first one i bought this thinking that scroll prince co wasn't going to come out with the cruella kit again um so i was going to use this for when the movie comes out and now i have it and i don't know when i'm going to use it because i'm going to pick up that cruella kit from scroll prince co um but yeah so these are this was like an extra add-on full box yeah it was an add-on of full boxes and i think it's so cute so you have yzma zerg 
I forget his name, but he's the bad guy from Mulan. And then Gaston, which like, tell me these aren't the cutest things on the planet. And I have, I think most of the kits that I picked up, there's only one new to me kit. And then the rest of them, I've already got them and used them, but I will use them all at some point eventually. I just don't know when. Um, and then this is like the actual kit. I didn't pick up all of the kit. So for all of them, you have the option of picking up the kit like completely or all the pages a la carte. So that's what I did. I just picked up a bunch of pages a la carte and I'm honestly kind of regretting the pages that I picked up um, because I think I didn't pick up any full boxes for any of these. But like after getting them, I realized like, oh, I could have totally used these in my pre-planner and used the full boxes, like the full box checklists. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's neither here nor there. Um, so you have on um, the actual kit itself, the Evil Queen, Maleficent, Miss Cruella de Vil, um, Jafar, Ursula, by far favorite villain of all time. I might actually save this to use in April of 2022 because I like to use kits that have Ursula for my birthday month. So maybe saving that for that. Um, Scar, Queen of Hearts. I think this is the evil stepmother from Cinderella, but it could be wrong. And then Hades, which he looks so cute. Um, I think like these two, these three are my favorites out of this one. Um, but that's the full box page. And then I also picked up this like boxes layering pieces page so you get like these little I like these flags because they're like skinny flags but they would be really cute for like layering and stuff and then half boxes and then a bunch of third boxes and quarter boxes and then I also picked up this page that has a bunch of like regular sized little things and then thicker little things which I think these are so cute and then a bunch of to-do headers and then finally the page that has like more layering pieces the cute square boxes work labels date covers weekend banner um and then like some sidebar stuff and build to Okay, so my camera totally cut me off and I didn't realize it, um, but hopefully I showed all of the pages really quickly. This was like the last page that I showed. And then, so this is the bottom washi, washi, glitter headers, and checklist. And I was saying how I didn't pick, I didn't see glitter headers as an add-on option for any of the kits that I picked up. Um, but I, hopefully I have enough either glitter header tape rolls for most color days or just generically multicolor glitter headers um, to pull into this. But if you know of any printable shops that have like multicolor lines and they have like multicolor glitter headers, um, please let me know in the comments down below because your girl has a like fear of running out of glitter headers even though I have way too many and I never even pull them in because I typically buy the add-on anyways. Um, but yeah, so that was all to say this is the washi page um, and then the next kit that I picked up this is the first or not the first the only new to me kit in this entire stack and it is the sidekicks kit which stunning so cute um so you have Olaf from Frozen and I think it's so cute that he has a little sun like in summer um Pascal from Rapunzel Mushu and the Cricket from Mulan I always forget the raccoon's name somebody's named Nico and then somebody's named something else from Pocahontas Hey Hey from um Moana, Lumiere, and Clogs Cogsworth, Clogsworth from Beauty and the Beast, The Little Rat from Cinderella, Flounder from The Little Mermaid, and then The Fire Spirit from Frozen 2, which I think these are all so cute. Um, I, no, The Fire Spirit, is The Fire Spirit named Samantha? I don't remember, but whatever. We're not gonna talk about that part. Um, and then this was the other page that has like all of the flags, half boxes, third boxes, and then like a few little quarter boxes at the bottom. And then the little things and like thicker little things page. The weekend banner, which I think this is really cute that it has like Raja on it. But also I don't really like that it's the same weekend banner as the villains kit. Just like, I feel like these would have been really cute flip-flopped um but like whatever that's fine I don't know how to draw so I shouldn't say this anyways um but like either way it's still cute and I'm gonna use it so what is what's new um but yeah so this is like the date covers all that fun stuff and then the bottom washi and regular washi glitter headers checklists that page and then this kit this kit so I picked this up to use the week of like December 17th something like that when the new Spider-Man No Way Home comes out because like what when else would I use this kit and I love this so much like literally so much so you have Thor, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Captain America, Hulk, Wolverine, Hawkeye, Black Widow, and Nick Fury, Fury, whatever his name is. Um, I am so excited to use this. I legitimately had to stop myself from buying four of these because I actually put four of these in my cart and I was like 
that's kind of crazy you don't need that many um so yeah originally I was going to use this for like my Marvel movie marathon whenever I finished watching all the Marvel movies but then Scroll Prince Co came out with a like superhero kit which you'll see later in the haul um so I'm gonna use that for when the Marvel movie marathon ends and then this one for the actual week of um when Spider-Man comes out because I love matching my kids to the movies that I watch so there is that and then this page has like flags, half boxes, other half boxes, third boxes, and quarter boxes, little things and smaller little things. The weekend banner, which this is so cute. Um, and then layering pieces, tape covers, all that fun stuff. And then the like washi, bottom washi, and glitter headers, all of that. The next kit is the princess kit, which again, stunning, beautiful. What else is new? Um, so I've used this kit many many times before not many many times before I've used it once once before um and I'm so excited to use it again so you have Cinderella, Tiana, Rapunzel, Snow White, Mulan, Belle, Pocahontas, Ariel, and Jasmine and then again the half boxes, flags, third boxes, and quarter boxes, headers, tiny headers, not tiny headers, little things, tiny little things, I guess it could be headers and little things um and then the weekend banner which is so cute because it has Elsa and I'm dead <laughs> and layering pieces it covers all of that and then the bottom washi washi strips and glitter headers and some little checklists and then finally last but not least um this is the nightmare before christmas kit again i have used this kit in the past typically for either the week of halloween or the week transitioning from halloween to a christmas kits i like to use a nightmare before christmas themed kit i already have one from creativity and ink from last year so i figured i might as well pick up a second one to match my pre-planner with my regular planner so this will go in one of the planners i honestly don't know which one yet but i am so excited so excited um but yeah so you have like jack sally oogie boogie um i think they're like lock shock and barrel shock and barrel for sure i always forget if it's lock or not um and then the like little mountain with this curly q at zero with this like mummy looking dude the evil doctor and the mayor which these are all so cute i don't even know how many times i will say so cute in this haul but so cute um and then you have the half boxes third boxes quarter boxes and <clears throat> some little flags my voice is getting so bad because i typically this is the only time that i talk throughout the day is when i do these videos so that's some fun information that you didn't need to know um the like header pieces and little things and then this is so cute it's a little weekend banner but it has little pumpkins and then the like layering pieces square boxes date covers and all that fun stuff and then the bottom washi okay so here is my only gripe with this so i don't even know if i am going to use these this bottom washi because i have two from creativity and ink one like christmas nightmare before christmas themed one and then one like regular nightmare before christmas themed one and i was planning on pulling these into the spreads at least one of them but i can't cut this up but this would also look really cute with like where are they at full boxes where'd you go the full boxes like tell me these would not go cute together i dare you tell me uh, but yeah so that's like my only gripe with this kit is that i don't think i'll be able to use this bottom washi but that's fine we will live um but yeah so that is everything that i picked up from odd loop honestly 10 out of 10 recommend like i have loved this shop for a very very long time um i think this is one of the first shops that i purchased from in like 2016 2017 when they had like the geometric -y kit and then also like the plant themed kit um and then like most of these because i've said that i've already used them before but yeah so stay tuned for these plant movies coming at some point eventually and let's go ahead and get on to the next shop also if i hadn't mentioned this this is on like the premium at unicorn paper very similar to creativity and ink um sticker guru nicole lexi designs like just the unicorn buttery smooth premium premium matte paper uh words um but yeah that is everything for all the let's go ahead and get on to the next shop okay so the next shop that i have to show you guys is scroll prince co and i have been waiting for a kit like this to come out for so long i mean honestly not even that long because i only started getting into marvel movies in like the middle of 2019 Ugh yeah the middle of 2019 ish um 
actually no before that whenever infinity war came out that's the first marvel movie that i saw so that's when i started getting into this so fairly recently compared to like people that were in it since 2008 when iron man came out but besides the point um but basically i've been waiting for this kid like i feel like forever um so this is from scribble prince co really quickly scribble prince co can't say words um really quickly these are the previews that i came with so this one is in gold and it just says like declutter me time tidy up take out laundry workout and target run and then this one says um like plan a friend to make the best friends and then a bunch of like um once more with love style icons which so excited to pull in all of this stuff for an upcoming plan with me um i think it's going live on thursday the thursday after watching this exciting plan with me stay tuned for that um but yeah so this is the kit that i picked up i picked up the superhero inspired kittenish artwork jess kit that didn't make any sense um but really quickly let's just go through the kit itself first so we're just gonna move these guys to the back so there is that so um both like the mini and the ultimate came with this um freebie thing and so you have like a captain marvel i'm pretty sure it's captain marvel like 90% sure it's Captain Marvel sweater because I always forget what her logo looks like. And then like Captain America pancakes, blueberries, um, I'm assuming that's raspberries, Iron Man themed headphones, a little of the flash earrings, and a Thanos gauntlet inspired ring. And then a Batman mask, HBO Max with a bunch of DC movies, pizza, and then some little snacky snacks, which so cute, so cute. And then these are the full boxes and i feel like every time i look at these i see something new and i legitimately just can't with the detail that jess puts into her artwork so we have the girl and then i'm assuming these are like bruce banner's glasses a little batman sign and then a little like superman taking flight type thing uh wakanda forever sweater and then with the same stuff that was in that freebie uh the dude with like superman superman flash flash batman batman and then again the like thanos gauntlet behind him and then pizza the little like wings that thor wears during ragnarok the hulk mask and then disney plus with a bunch of marvel movies on it um actually i think this okay yeah, so it's like black widow and then other things that i can't really tell um and then you have like the double box scene that has i'm assuming this looks like it's the beginning of Captain America, not Captain America, is it Captain America? I'm pretty sure this is the, the beginning scene of Age of Ultron when they're all fighting in that forest in the wintertime. Um, and then you have like Thanos' gauntlet, a bunch of like drinks, and then a Captain America and a Batman mug, which with what looks like a little cape underneath. And then you have a movie stack, Captain America hat, and then some popcorn. And I can't even tell what these movies are. So we have Batman vs. Superman, Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, Wonder Woman, Avengers, Endgame, Avengers, Infinity War, Dark Knight Rises, Shazam, Captain America vs. Avenger, Captain America Winter Soldier, and then I don't know what that one is. And then a different, oh, Captain America Civil War. So lots of movies, definitely will be watching a lot of these during my Marvel movie marathon type thing. But again, like every time that I see these full boxes or just any different, like, different shops using this kit I feel like they all pulled in different things and just put in a bunch of like tiny little details into this and I personally would have preferred like a just Marvel and then a just DC kit because they're like themed art sets um because Jess has said previously um that she's more of a DC person than a Marvel person and I feel like she could have taken that and run with it and done like just straight up dc stuff because i feel like there's generically more marvel kits like i literally just hauled one from odd loop um then there is dc kits and i'm looking for a kit to use whenever the batman comes out for like the r pat batman robert patton's and batman um which i'm also very excited for <clears throat> but yeah so those are the full boxes and then the next page has the like kit section with the planner and then a little like comic book and some like weirdo square boxes checklists and half boxes and then you have the deco weekend banner um sidebar -y stuff work label scenes that i probably won't really use and then the like movie marquees um half checklists some like thicker little things headers sidebar trackers and glitter headers and i love this i don't know if this was on purpose but i feel like it's iron man colors and then joker colors so you have like i personally think like the main marvel person and then the main DC person even though he was only really in like one movie um but yeah so there's that and then the icons layering pieces quarter boxes and half boxes and then the like 
non pattern the solid page that has like the fancy labels um third box is what yeah just washi strips and little things i personally could have done with like just these two and then thicker washi i know that was like one version of it for a while um but honestly i'll take whatever kit there is because i love them all um so that page and then the like pattern page that's also the fancy labels third boxes washi and little things and then the bottom washi and the like date covers and this is so cute and this will also look so 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 stunning with the um like rainbow overlay tapes from sticker guru like obviously i'm gonna use that when i use this um and then i also did pick up the fam 2 mostly just for this tall box curl but i will also probably just pull in the kids and then i'm debating if i want to use like the dude that came in the kit or this dude because I don't know like whatever dude I use first I will use the next dude when I use this kit again because I am also probably going to pick this up from Crest Press and any other shop that offers it so there's that and then I also picked up the birthday hero box at first I was thinking I'm gonna save this for somebody's birthday and then I was like yo no I literally do a Marvel movie th marathon it's gonna be the second year in a row that I do it I'm gonna use this for that instead and then I also picked up the like extra label add-on that comes with blue and black and I didn't pick up the 15 millimeter strip only because I already have a 15 millimeter washi in black from this girl Prince Go um but yeah that's basically it everything that I picked up from SPC super tiny order um there's probably gonna be a lot of tiny orders for the next little bit but yeah so there's that let's get on to the last shop okay so the last shop that i have to show you guys is creativity and ink and you already know that like angelo shop is literally my favorite shop of basically all time because i feel like we're the same person and she always comes out with cute magical things that i a thousand percent just fall in love with right off the bat so i do have an order and then her magical subscription mailer situation 10 out of 10 if you 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 <laughs> recommend if you are a like magical disney type person subscribe to her magical mailer because the month that just shipped out which i think was the march one is a tangled inspired theme and then the next one is lilo and stitch and the one after that is monsters inc i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's the order that they're gonna go in and honestly love love just love all the sneaks that she's already done like in love with all of it um really quickly so this one was the march subscription february subscription i honestly don't even know um but it was the inside out themed one so i'm just gonna like steal this journaling card this is the journaling card that came with like my actual order but i'm just gonna use it to show some of the stuff so look at how cute it's like the little gold sparkly type deco bits so that's the first thing that this came with and then it also came with this really cute acrylic um like charm type thing and i want to find a way to like clip this onto my planner because i feel like he would look really cute just hanging out of there um so there's that and then it also came with this like vinyl like actual waterproof vinyl for a water bottle type thing and it just has like joy sadness anger disgust and i don't think his name is anxiety what is his name i forget his name he's not featured in full boxes the anxiety guy anxiousness him um and then this is just like the backer card that came with the charm and then you have all the little characters individual die cuts and then this like almost rainbow looking um deco page that just has like mickey heads stars and then more little mickey heads and then it also came with all of this washi can we just talk about how stunning it is so i have it all here um so these are five different um like header overlay tapes but they're not header overlay tapes because they're not perforated but that's what i'm gonna call them because that's what i'm gonna use them for and they're in like this really pretty sparkly red color this gold champagne lights color this i think this one's the only one that's not hollow but it's just like a solid reflective um like lime green i think it's not watermelon but scroll prints go had a wiggle in this and it's like this limey green color and it's literally exactly the same so if you have that wiggle you know exactly what this color looks like and you know that i'm going to be pulling those twin together because i also have that wiggle from scroll prints go um and then also this like a sparkly blue color and then this sparkly pink which honestly this looks like a sparkly lavender hollow and i'm not mad about it like 
I'm gonna use that when I'm ready to use lavender hollow. And then it also came with this 15 millimeter roll again with all of the characters and the background it changes so you'll see like even if I pull this out and try to put them like line them up against each other the background changes like and it goes from like yellow to green to purple which I think is so cute and I feel like it would be really cute to do like to use this for pride week and do not pride week but like just in June generically um and do like a rainbow themed spread with all of them um so yeah stay tuned that'll probably be on my channel sometime eventually and then it also came with this really cute little sticker book this one's smaller than like the ones that have been in the past which I a thousand percent do not mind it also feels a little bit thicker but I feel like that could just be me um so you have these full boxes so you have joy anger disgust and sadness and then again these super cute magical icons that like legitimately don't have anything to do with anything except for magicalness but I personally love these because if I wanted to mark like budgeting pull in a magical icon doesn't matter what it is if I wanted to mark like planning watching a tv show literally just doing anything I don't have to be like oh man I only have one green tv icon so I can only use that one once like no I can use these for whatever because they don't mean any like they're all just magical and don't have a specific meaning to them they don't mean anything like I could use them for whatever I want and I personally like that because they're easier to pull into other spreads too so there's that and then you have some little checklists as well and then you have this this is in gold foil and it's um like the full box not full boxes but like half boxes and third boxes and then fear his name is fear not anxiety fear and um I just blinked on his name but he's an imaginary friend in Inside Out um and then the little date covers and that is everything for this kit which honestly like I think that this is essentially a whole kit because you have like the full boxes you have the like icons checklists other boxes date covers and then a washi like essentially it's this is a mini kit and i'm in love with everything about it so yeah that is everything from that guy oh also it came with this I'm pretty, it says core memories which i think is really cute um but i'm pretty sure these are gum balls i haven't eaten one yet because they're obviously still in the little packaging thing but i'll eat them because i've hauled this now and i'm showing you guys what it is um not eat them you don't swallow gum but chew a gumball um and then so this is my actual order so the journaling card that it came with was this one which i think this is so cute and this feels like thick she's like photo paper glossy thicker journaling card than like the standard journaling cards that creativity Inc. usually puts in the kits and stuff but i think this is so cute and angela said that like the artwork for this was basically inspired by her favorite things and i think that it's just the sweetest thing on the planet and again a lot of her favorite things are my favorite things so you have like hogwarts castle disney castle mickey monsters inc and then just like a bunch of generically cute stuff i don't know who they are but they look real cute and i want to know who they are so there's that um and then it also came with these freebies so you have like a see amy a draw type freebie with a little posty ghosty which i think is so cute and then this that's like it's a small world after all and then this epcot ball which i don't know if these are like waterproof finals but they're cute and i'm gonna pull them in to whatever spread i decide to use them on so there's that guy and then angela also did throw in this cute little enamel charm and i want to like find a way to hang him from my calendar i literally just put everything on my can calendar or like the cork board on top of my calendar so we might just try to find like a cute little ribbon to put on top of them and call it a day and then I obviously got a lot of stuff so we're just gonna like turn everything in this direction real quickly um i basically picked up every washi that there was on the planet and i think it was like the first 100 orders or something got like a washi freebie type thing so these are mickey pants in red foil and then these are um like mickey head hats in an oil slick foil and i'm really excited to have so i got like a 15 millimeter of the mickey pants a really long time ago so i was thinking that i'm gonna pull these guys in to my cruella spread because mickey is a rat and she kills a bunch of animals to make cute little sweaters and it's also a disney movie and mickey mouse is disney so i feel like these would look really cute to pull into the cruella spread and then i'll just pull this guy in whenever i feel like it throughout the spread so it's not just like one mickey pant there's multiple mickey pants that makes any sense so i don't know i'll let you say excited to have those guys and then you guys already know that oh man i lost washi 
and like they were in the little cajon that I usually keep all the stuff to haul in so anyways washi so these three are the sorcerer's stone washi and I'm so excited if Angela decides to like do this for literally all of the Harry Potter movies I am so excited and I can't wait and even if she does it I'm okay with just having the sorcerer's stone philosopher philosopher's stone whatever movie you go by I'm okay with it all so this first one has like he who must not be named and then like the actual stone happy birthday harry the letter to hogwarts Hedwig, and the chocolate frog and the like pattern is throughout so you can see like on here it kind of varies throughout the entire washi which i think is always thinking cute and then you have the like alohomora keys things in a cute so this one's 15 millimeter this one's a cute little like 10 millimeter one and then a different 10 millimeter that's orange that just has like nine and three quarters so excited can never have too much washi can never have too much harry potter washi bam ready for this want to use this right now um, and then the next washies are these they match like the kit that i also picked up for this um and so you have this cute little like mickey admission ticket in pink with hollow foil and literally what else like this this is me in a washi i feel like i say that every time that i haul anything from creativity and ink but this is me in a washi um and i just think it's so cute and so sweet and i love it so much and then this is the little character guys i always forget what their names are but it's something and friends buffy and friends buffy and friends um as a little washi with cute little like different colors in the background and repeating and again with hollow foil what else is new but also is cute um and then this cute little like 10 millimeter that's just like this really cute like soft little baby blue color with hollow foil which again stunning cute gorgeous and then this like honestly i feel like this is my favorite thing on the planet um so i have the like washi acrylic holders from creativity and ink so these are like all my simply golden ones but i have the like that one as well and they're all just like stacked with mostly creativity and ink and then all of these simply gilded um five millimeter washies and i'm so excited to add this guy to the collection because it's getting full and i'm gonna need another acrylic holder so ah. if anybody out there knows of any really cute acrylic holders send them my way because I'm gonna need more because I have way too many of these already and I'm not even mad about it so that was all of the washi that I picked up it's gonna <laughs> and then this is some um, and this is some other stuff that I picked up so I did pick up two of the like little mini pockets to put I'm debating if I want to put these in my print impression or in my cloud planner but I'll put them somewhere and this one has like a little castle and this one just has a bunch of little like mickey heads and then this one is so cute. It's like a candy made castle, like a birthday castle type thing. And I have like my favorite day inserts in my um, A5 wide ring planner. I'll have it linked in the description box down below. But I feel like this will look so cute to like scrapbook my birthday. So if I were to like pull in like basically, just, honestly, I could just pull in all of these. I was going to say just like these two. But honestly, if I were to just pull in all of these and scrapbook my birthday in my planner that that would look real real cute so i picked that guy up and then these are the kits that i picked up stay tuned for a fun and exciting plan with me with this kit coming on thursday um hopefully it's thursday if not i'll have the, the correct date in the little texty part somewhere here um but i did pick up the headers all apart for this kit and just stunning gorgeous beautiful what else is new um and then i think the kit did come with these little like ombre heart checklists and these are the full boxes and they are so stinking cute and again uh, like this is um inspired by all of angelo's favorite things and it's so cute and it's so soft and so just stunning so you have like little buffy and friends planner planners I almost said planning girls and then I actually ended up saying planners but planners that say planning time and then the like I forget what these are called St stony and clover I'm pretty sure that's what they're called little like pouches and stuff yep a house with little pixar clouds mickey mouse with a bunch of little like deco -y dot bits around it blue store with a little hollow boo and then all the harry potter books with little harry potter symbols and then we've all got both light and dark inside us what makes us no, what matters is the part that we choose to act on. Um, that's who we really are. And I think that's so stinking cute. I'm pretty sure this is a Dumbledore quote because it sounds sophisticated-y like a Dumbledore quote would. 
but I honestly have no idea. Um, but this is on her beautiful stunning matte premium matte paper. Beautiful stunning unicorn premium matte paper. Um, I need to learn to not slur my words, but we're gonna get over that eventually. Um, but yeah, so these are the full boxes, and then this is the like half boxes, third boxes, these cute little squared boxes, um, all that kind of fun stuff. And then weekend banner, flags, icons, scripts, third boxes, habit trackers, and then some sideboard stuff and to do headers. And then the like bottom washi, date covers, some more washi strips, these little like foiled boxes, and then bill dues. There's everything for that kit. And then this, this is like again i put like four of these in my cart didn't really buy four of them um but i picked up this like um i don't know why i can think of it sorcerer stone philosopher stone kit from creativity and ink and honestly i feel like with these three washies you could probably extend this to be like two or three different spreads so don't know when i'm gonna use this but i'm going to and now i have to and i have to pull in this washi because those are the rules you know that's those are just the rules so i also uh, picked up these headers up cart and they're again stunning beautiful gorgeous what else is new um and then it did come with these little check boxes <laughs> and these are the full boxes which are so cute so you have like the hogwarts letter happy birthday harry with little like gold twinkly bits you have <laughs> the troll and then there's a troll in the or troll in the dungeon which again is so cute the little key with wings and the stone the book cover with the flying carry on it little like Voldemort face but he has a nose pretty sure he doesn't have a nose maybe this no this has to be Voldemort because this is like the back of somebody's head because there's no like collar or anything on the front anyways with little sparkly bits and then a chocolate frog with again more sparkly bits the like chess pieces and then a double box of the hogwarts castle with people riding the boats to get to the castle which so cute i feel like i shouldn't have put this up so much because it would have just been really blurry but you could just look at it from right here um yeah stunning beautiful i picked this up in gold because i feel like that would have been like the best foil to put but also this washi is in hollow all of these three are in hollow so now i'm kind of debating my life choices but whatever here we are beautiful um and then these are the like boxes half boxes quarter boxes all that fun stuff and then the flags weekend banner um third boxes sidebar stuff more stuff and then again like see he would look so cute with this like little bottom washi and then also he would look so cute with that bottom washi so we're gonna have some choices to make um so like date covers bottom washi they'll do washi strips and all that fun stuff and then the star of the show so i went a little ham went a little too ham but so i picked up three of the yobi swasi like so i feel like you could only sing this but this is a bad bunny song and it says yo visto así no me voy a cambiar and like literally i dress like this i'm never gonna change like do whatever you want do whatever you need to do to be like the most amazing and sparkly human being that you can it's literally what this is and then it just has like a walt disney world shirt with some little mickey shorts which i need the outfit to like recreate this as like me have a photo shoot i don't know um but there is that and then um this one that says que pasa que ya no te veo and i think that's so cute so it's like what happened that i don't see you anymore um and it's just like a disney castle which again so cute and then this one that says disney por favor like disney please but disney por favor which again so cute and then <laughs> I think this one's so funny, but I feel like I have to say this in like a monotone robotic voice, either that or like a flight attendant e voice. It's like, por favor, manténgase al alejado de las puertas. And I think that's so cute. I said that. I butchered that so bad. But just, por favor, manténgase alejado de las puertas. There, like that. And I think it's just so funny. And he's huge. He's massive. But I feel like I need to buy another hydro flask and just like stick him down the middle like that. Or even like putting him like. This also isn't a Hydro Flask. This is a different one. I think I covered up the logo. But it's the Costco water bottles. Just go to Costco. Get a water bottle. Buy this sticker. Stick it on your water bottle. And you'll be a happy camper. And then you just put like this one like on top of it. And then you put this one like going across from it in a different direction. Stunning. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. And I honestly have no idea what I'm even going to do with these. Like I picked up three of these. I don't know what I was thinking. But I'm also not mad about it. 
and I don't know where to put them because like I don't want to put them on my laptop because my laptop's actually gonna die within the next like two years and I don't want to lose this sticker within the next like two years so we're gonna have to find a spot for him one of these is for sure going to go in my planner either like my current planner or my next year's planner I don't know so one of them is gonna go in a planner one of them is gonna go in a water bottle and then one of them I don't know where you're gonna go but I need I feel like I need to buy a pink hydro flasky type water bottle to put this guy on there to basically put like all four of these on there and then also I have like some Ursula vinyl so I'm so excited to use but I haven't used yet so we'll see we'll see also creativity and ink her waterproof vinyl stickers are so good um I don't think I have any to show but like I've put them on like a lot of water bottles that I have and none of them have like frayed or gotten like weird or anything um so honestly 10 out of 10 would recommend putting like yeah yeah 10 out of 10 recommend um but yeah that is everything for this haul and let's just go to the outro alrighty so that is everything for today's haul hopefully you guys enjoyed again I will have links in the description box down below um and as per usual let's just pause take a little bit of a breather take a little bit of a chill pill and deep breath in deep breath out and repeat after me i will put myself first so putting yourself first is not a selfish thing even though unfortunately i feel like that's what the world has basically just come to um but just know that like you can put yourself first you have to feed your like not only just like actually eating food but like feed your body feed your mind feed your soul all that fun stuff in order to be there and to help other people so just know it's okay to pause it's okay to take a break it's okay to just be a potato for an entire day to recharge from whatever life has been throwing at you we are all struggle busting it and it's okay to say no and to take a pause and to take a break and just do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and sparkly human being and it can't be sparkly if like you're just i don't know not up for it not filled with a bunch of i almost said pizza but that's the wrong word but just you know what i mean like you have to be you have to be there for yourself before you can be there for other people that got really sappy took a little bit of a dark and twisty turn for a little bit but yeah as per usual do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and sparkly human being that you can possibly be and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys